I put in my front. Alright, apparently we're going. There's me, David, and there's Cam. Cam is actually going to run in this thing. I'm just going to finish. So, uh. One by one. The last time I'm going to look at this kid for a few days. Alright. And two, and one, let's go, let's go. Ready? And three, and two, and one, let's go, let's go. Okay. Here we go. That's one kilometer in just a little over five minutes, between five and six minutes. So I'm cutting the pace back. I'm gonna try and hit nine kilometers an hour. So that'll be like two and a half hours of running. Sub three, let's see, one kilometer. Uh, that was two kilometers. So, so far so good. I think I came out a little too fast. So my heart rate is up over 148. So I'm going to cut it back a little bit on the pace so I can get the last 16 kilometers the right way. First eight, I have to go the right way for the last 16 to fall in line. Ah, this here is about three kilometers. Still feeling good. Uh, slow down my pace a little bit. We're like a eight kilometers per hour pace for some of this because notice my heart rate's all high. I don't know if it's because of the terrain and fighting it. It's kind of muddy, but so far so good. Like I said before, I think I started out a little fast. We'll see how the second six kilometers are in a bit. I think I'm getting to the halfway point. Yeah, that's four. There's six more just like that. We're all set. My time, four kilometers was just about 28 minutes. So six more of those. That's just under, well, let's see. That's six times 20. <laughs> so it's just under three hours. So I can keep up the pace. But it was a little quick at the beginning. So here's hoping three hours to see you at five kilometers. Five Ooh. kilometers. That's usually where I'd stop. And I'm kind of feeling like stopping now. It would have been a, like, hey, that was nice. Let's go take a shower, maybe get something to eat watch this sports on TV. That was a good afternoon. But no, I got 19 more of this shit. So here we go. Getting to the turnaround point at six kilometers, still feeling good. Uh, feel a little bit, ooh, <laughs> kind of back spasms because I think I'm not used to running on this uneven terrain. I'm usually running on a treadmill. It's nice and flat, but this is all over the place. So my little back muscles have been going tweak, tweak, trying to keep me from falling over so I gotta keep an eye on the road here but about to turn around for the first time ah, still feeling good though trying to keep my heart rate low so I can finish my video but I yeah. missed I missed seven kilometers and this is introduce yourself to my kids who is this I'm done yeah I'm done what's your last name my last name my last name. what Hamad Hamad yeah okay and uh, he was at the turnaround point working here and I said come on because he helped sign me in and I said, come on, run with me. So he's running back these six kilometers. We'll see, maybe we'll do 12, huh? But it's good pace for us. Okay, we're gonna call that eight kilometers, even though it's 8.2 because Adnan just left. So yeah, about eight kilometers. I'm just gonna keep an eye on the road here. It's about bumpy, I'll show you. It's, like, it's a little rivet, rivets. So that's eight kilometers. That means I only got like 16 more to go. So I'm one third of the way there. Still feeling good. I think if I get to the last eight and I feel this good, hey, that's a win. I can finish. So, see you at nine. Nine kilometers, thank you. We're at nine, crossing the, crossing the road. Thanks guys. Okay, take it easy on the hills. Back for the knees. Yalla, yalla. <laughs> hey, no, sorry, I got some, thank you. Okay, nine kilometers, looking good. There's Cameron, he's beating the piss out of me. Um, so, we'll see you at 10. So far, so good. Just 15 more kilometers to go. What the hell am I thinking? Hey, I think that's 10. Yeah, that's 10. Whew. Definitely feeling it. There's David. 
David's on 14. How you feeling, David? All right, babe. I'll see you on the other end. There, just passing David. He's four kilometers ahead. Cam's like six kilometers ahead of me. So, it's gonna be a long night, I think. But uh, so far, so good. Only 14 more kilometers to go. <laughs> so, one at a time. One at a time. And it's starting to get dark here, out here in the middle of the desert. But lots of good company. Made a friend, Adnan KW Printing is his uh, dad and his business. He's studying marketing at a Kuwait University here. He's uh, going into his junior year next year. So good luck for him. And some young, uh, I think some high schoolers, a group of three girls and a mom, all running in the 7K. Although running is a little bit of a stretch. They were kind of walking when I saw them. That's all right. Hey, even walking, you're lapping everybody that's someone on the couch watching game shows. All right, back to the grind. Next one, 11. Hey, that's 11 kilometers. Woof, feeling it. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm still okay. Nothing too terrible. I think I'm gonna change my stride a little bit. Go for longer stride, slower pace. See if that keeps my heart rate down. As it is, breathing's fine. It's mostly my heart rate and my legs and my hips and my back. So I think if I can get used to a pace like this, which is like, an eight minute kilometer on average ish because I'm getting to just about uh, an hour and a half. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna talk to a guy. maybe in a minute. I don't think I'm gonna answer right now. I'll call at the end. <laughs> It'll be in an hour and a half, but I think she can handle it. <sighs> so Anushka, if you see this, I was at 11 kilometers when you were calling me and about halfway through the race, well, 11.1. And uh, just wanting to get to the end. Now I'll give you a call. Love you. <laughs> Bye. It's time for a little reflection here at 12 kilometers on life choices. What you choose to do with your time, especially on the weekends. Um, so I could say that I feel great, which would probably make me feel better if I kept saying that. But I don't particularly feel great. I kind of feel... A little bit tired. 12 kilometers is a long way. And I've been running for an hour and 35 minutes. So based on my pace now, which let's face it, it might get worse before it gets better. Uh, I might finish in three hours and 10 minutes, three hours and 11 minutes, somewhere around there. Um, I suppose if I get to the last five kilometers, I'm feeling good. I could jack it up a little bit. Oh goodness, going downhill, that's interesting. All right, that didn't feel so great. So, taking stock. Breathing's fine. Um, heart rate, okay. So I could keep going based on breathing and heart rate, my cardio. A little bit dizzy, so I think I might take one of those gel packs in a minute, just to see if that boosts the energy up. But definitely the joints and the muscles, some of them, I'm sort of feeling it, my feet. So, yeah, not so easy going. And I'm gonna probably have to put on my headlamp soon so I can see where I'm running. But so far, 12 kilometers, I turned around. And I didn't think about it. So, we're gonna chalk that up as a win for the day. That's win number one. Well, I guess win number one was showing up. And then number two is turning around at 12 kilometers to head back out. Made some friends along the way. Yeah, it's not about how fast you're on the 24K. It's the friends you make along the way. So I'll have to go and check in on my friend Adnan. Uh, and uh, over at his printing shop in Salmia later. Talk to you at 13 kilometers. As you can see, I have to wear my headlamp, keep an eye on things. My pace has dropped a bit, but I'm keeping up. I'll probably be a little over three hours the way things are going, which is kind of disappointing. But 13 kilometers, longest I've run since back in Calgary in probably 2014 or 15, so mm -hmm. seven years. This is the longest sustained run I've ever had. Uh, how am I feeling? A bit tired. Like a, parts of me, I've been maintaining my breathing and my heart rate, so those are all going pretty good. 
but there's joints in there and parts of my feet and my knees and ankles and hips and even in my gut I can feel it which is to be expected those things are saying hey stupid you meant to stop a long time ago there's something chasing me that's really slow like a mummy or I don't know something like a snail what's going on so yeah and I'm uh, listening to a podcast while I'm running I got a second call from Anushka so she'll be wondering why isn't he answering my calls and this is why but I'm going to finish first and I'm going to call her after I remember who I am and where I am because I'm starting to feel like I'm running out of energy here but we'll keep going 13 kilometers see you in another oh it's 13.2 now see I'm talking so slow I just ate up 200 meters I'll see you in another 800 meters okay. calling that 14 kilometers that was by far the raggediest the most raggedy kilometer I've run today but to be expected if I can just hang on I got 10 more to go um, the next kilometer mark marks an important point because at that point it's three kilometers back if I just turned around and it's three kilometers to the turnaround point for the entire race way out there so I'm like halfway into the last leg not really halfway one quarter into the second half I don't know how else to put it but it just means that if I keep going I'm getting further away from the start and I'm committing to the full 24. I really have the feeling that when I come in they're gonna pack the last things in the truck and drive out of here because I will be the last person to finish and I'm okay with that today see y'all later at 15 kilometers hey. right this is that point 15 kilometers I was talking about so that means I got three kilometers that way to the turnaround point and I'm three kilometers away from the last turnaround point so in theory if I turned around now at the same distance to either one I'm going at a really slow jog because I don't think I have much juice, juice left. I just passed David. So David is in theory six kilometers ahead of me, which makes sense given what I've been doing for the past 10 kilometers. But uh, still going. Gonna go all the way to the turnaround point, all the way back, nine kilometers. Less than nine kilometers now, because I'm talking to you probably like 8.9 kilometers. Yeehaw. Oh, see ya. That's 16 kilometers. Okay, that's 16. And yes, it it doesn't get better. Stuff starts to hurt. I think about 200, 300 meters ago, I stopped to walk a little bit because I couldn't flex my knees the right way. So lucky I got some water. I think I was a bit dehydrated. Wasn't planning. I just drank some water at the beginning and didn't do anything really much during the run. So hopefully this is gonna get me that last eight kilometers home uh that's all i got left but definitely not going to finish in three hours i'm right now okay heart rate's good hold on i am at two hours and 20 minutes so i am not going to do eight kilometers in 40 minutes i wouldn't do that on a good day um but i might finish in three and a half hours might and that's still a win just finishing is a win and i apologize profusely to the people that had to stay here late just for me Okay, that's 17. Uh, really not thinking 24 is in it. A minute for 24. These knees, my knees are feeling something. And I think I'm going to get to the turnaround point and ask for a ride. 18 kilometers is enough. So, huh, 17. And that's two and a half hours. I was aiming for 24 and 3. But... I think after about 14 kilometers, I lost the ability to bend my knees as much as I should. I mean, they're really stiff. So I'm just gonna get one more kilometer done on what I got left because the six kilometers back will easily take me over an hour. And uh, I don't think I can run for four and, uh, three and a half hours, four hours uh, today. But it was a good try. Yeah, right now, <laughs> I can feel muscle spasming in my inner thigh one of my quads is tensing up I 
I've lost control of it. <laughs> it's just vibrating. So anyway, so less than a kilometer and I'm gonna call it quits. That's good. That's a good day out. Probably the furthest I've run since I was in my 20s. Uh, I'm gonna alternate between the track and me. In the history of incredibly stupid things to do, I just turned around at 18 kilometers and I'm running back. So it says that I might finish around 7.35. There's about 35 minutes past uh, where I wanted to finish. I'm gonna keep going back and forth. So let's see uh, kilometer 19. So it's here, I've gone past 19. I better walk for a little bit while I'm talking to you because it's getting kind of dark. And if I'm running and the camera and all that, it's uh, 19.3, I think they say I'm at. And uh, so that means I have less than five kilometers to go, which is a very good thing. Huh. I'll see you at 20 kilometers. Okay. So actually, aside from a few things, I'm feeling better. It's 20 kilometers. I'm thoroughly exhausted. I passed a few people that are doing 12s and they're saying, hey, hang in there. You've already gone like whatever, eight. I'm like, no, nah, I'd like 20, but um, you know what? It's not too bad right now. It's just that my pace is just abysmally slow. So I'm going to get back after 7.30, which, you know, I've got less than four kilometers to go, though. So I could do that backwards if I had to at this point. Just really slow. So I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep it up. Yahala! <laughs> Making lots of friends, you know, just having fun, doing my jam. But 20 kilometers, I think... Taking a stop at 18 and reassessing was good. Turning around and getting back here. At the, after I did kilometer 18 to 19, I started actually feeling a little bit better. Things started to work out. There were things that were locking up around my knees and I thought, well, if my knees don't bend, I'm not gonna be running very far. But um, I run for about a quarter mile, maybe 400 meters, 500 meters, and then I walk for a little bit just to uh, recalibrate some of the joints. And it's going okay. At, uh, just about a half marathon almost soon, which would be 21 kilometers. See you in a bit. That's 21, so that's a half marathon. And uh, what's my time? Like three hours, it's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I'd say somewhere around 14 kilometers, there were things going on. And considering I haven't really run for two or three weeks, this is the first time out running. Uh, not bad. Uh, there was a transition, yeah. What was it? It was from, say, kilometer 14 to about kilometer 19, where there was some serious pain things going on. Um, lots of doubt. <laughs> but, at, you know, the, the big deal was eight, get to 18 and make a decision, I guess, because there's a car there and a guy there. So I could have asked for help. But I had to talk with him, stretched out a little bit. I'd already had some water on the way there. And so off we go. Three kilometers left. And I'm just doing a light jog. Not really pushing it too hard. Occasionally something starts to freeze up in my knee joint. So rather than keep running on it and have it completely lock up, I stop and walk or waddle for a little bit until it relaxes. And then I go back into my light jog. This is kind of like what I do to warm up. Uh, just to get just warm, but it's all I can really manage right now at this point. Um, but feeling better. It's kind of like I'm on cruise control at this speed, which is like a between a 10 and a 12 minute kilometer on average. At least that's what my Garmin is telling me. But it's all screwed up because of the timings all off at the GPS. But yeah, less than three kilometers to go now. So let's see. Okay, two to go. Uh, 22, um, obviously I'm not winded or anything, it's just sore. Um, so I think I just gotta build up some tolerance in my joints for longer distances, or maybe learn how to run different for a longer distance because um, that's what stopped me from keeping a pace. It's my, uh, it's my knees, and 
couple of little muscles around there that I could have um, I could have been finished by now absolutely so lesson learned but uh, 22 kilometers so less than two to go now probably 1.9 okay that's kilometer 23 I'm gonna trot on in it's uh, three hours and 21 minutes I'm actually feeling okay there's a few bits and pieces that are looking like uh, they might fall off a wagon between now and 24 but from the experience of 23 kilometers in the books if you just keep going they'll stick together eventually so it looks like i'm going to finish this one fingers crossed you know there's still a few minutes left to to go but uh but yeah it would have been nice to have been training for this actually to have been building up over the past couple of months you know go from five to ten ten to fifteen maybe do a twenty once just to see how that feels one bit one week maybe a month ago but uh you know beggars can't be choosers here we are we're at 23 now less than a kilometer and i don't even i don't even know oh trash don't, don't oh that's the old tv good so almost there almost there see you guys at the finish line that's the finish line right there so we're uh, getting close to it um and that'll be 24 kilometers. I think that last stop at 23, that last video was a little bit premature. I think my distance track was a bit out by about a half a kilometer. But here we are, 24 kilometers turnaround. So I guess we gotta keep going, get over the finish line. Mm. But finish up jogging. Oh, even though there's stuff that's clearly not enjoying this. So, almost there. Let's see what these folks have to say which way to go hey man where's the finish line where's the finish line right here where do we gotta go right here thank you thank you which is where is the crossing over here thank you all right here's the finish line 24 kilometers all right holy smokes Less than one hour, guys. Okay. Less, uh, <laughs> good job, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. I'm going to take a moment.